everyone. So, I'm in a glorious mood because the weather is absolutely shining outside. It looks amazing. Um, I've just been this morning been out of my nan doing some cleaning. Um, it's a bit of money. It's my first day back at work tomorrow. So, I'm just going to go for a move. Thought I'd like start a little weekly vlog, basically. Because I've got nothing like major going on. I'm in my bikini and shorts, ready to go and do a bit of sunbathing and reading. Just relaxing in the sun. But I have actually finished off my last book. I finished it. Just ignore the mess going on behind me. Um, it was really good, but now I've got to pick a new one. That was actually my ninth book I've read this year, which means I'm absolutely smashing my target. I've got lots of stuff to do, really, before I go out to work tomorrow. So sunbathing probably isn't the best idea, but I want to. And date night tonight with Dan. Exciting! But yeah, I'm just deciding to pick a book. I'll show, you. I'll show you the ones we've got going on. So this is what my current bookshelf looks like. There's others down there, but I've read them. Um, so I'm thinking one by Colleen Hoover, because, you know, just the best one. Basically, I have an addiction to buying books, so I have loads. I haven't read all of them. I've probably read, realistically, like, well, no, now I've probably read, like, a third. I'm not going to read this one because I've literally read one just like it like the one before it is going to be really similar I bought this one the other day it's a bit of a shorter read so maybe i do this one i keep seeing really good reviews about it as well the midnight library really see i'm trying i would love to actually finish all these books by the end of the year but it's not gonna happen it's so hard though to like restrict yourself on buying a book when you see one like i bought this this one i think i bought this the other day because i buy my friend one and it was like on the deal that you get another one so i was like oh, i'll happily buy myself a book like i can always find myself Something. So I'm gonna go and try and see if I can find the sunbed. If not, we're on the grass. Let's go. But yeah, we have date night tonight because I'm going back to work tomorrow. And then because of Dan's new job, pretty much all our shifts are gonna be like clashing because I mostly work like evenings really. So yeah, have a little date night before we don't get to see each other again basically. Um so like obviously we'll be seeing each other but you know, spending some proper time together. Oh my god, the weather. Look at it. I mean, it's a bit oh, there's a little bee then on the grass. I know bees are a bit controversial, but I'm not gonna lie. I love them. Oh, there's my sunglasses. They're so cute. I want a little tattoo of a bee, personally. Um, where is the sunbed? Not gonna lie, we've it's probably been like got rid of like four years ago. And I'm just unaware nippy out here okay leave me to it loving it loving life alexa play me some summer songs this is the vibe okay bye Bobby, dabby, doo, be doo. Bobby, da, doo, do, 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 do. so it's now the next day i forgot to do anything last night so yeah i'm just getting myself ready for work it's my first day back today and I'm buzzing, so if you keep seeing me look over here, it's because that's where my mirror is. God, it's a forehead. Um, yeah, I'm just getting ready for work. I'm so excited. Absolutely buzzing for it. I can't wait. Been to, woke up really early this morning. So it's like nine o'clock now, and I started ten. But I woke up at, well, just gone like six, really, and got out of bed at seven um, because Dan was up getting ready for work. So I just woke up and then could not go back to sleep. But yeah, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of me getting ready. I just put a little bit of moisturiser on. Because I'm not going to lie, I don't always do that. <laughs> I did it last night and now I feel like my hair's all nice still from yesterday, which is good. But yeah, pretty much. Well, there's a lot of conspiracy about what this is meant to be for. I'm pretty sure it's meant to undo your makeup. Always it's really orange and too expensive, isn't it? And that's fine. Um, but I don't want to... I don't really ever wear foundation um, at the moment. I go through phases and at the moment it's not one of them. But it just gives your face so much more life. I use a brush for it as well because I feel like because it's so thin because it's not actually like doesn't give you coverage. It, um, I don't want it to like just all disappear. It has like a bit of a tint to it once it's blended in. Sorry if that light's really annoying but... I can't even to get my tripod and set you up anywhere, so you're gonna have to deal with it. I asked Dan to go work my beauty blend yesterday, and I won't lie, it wasn't a great job he did. <laughs> I had my eyelashes done last month, just lifted and tinted, 
but now they're starting to like go back to normal and they're all like criss because it was so long ago now they're all like crisscrossing and like gem wise but yeah normally use the revolution one but i've also found this one the other day my maybelline one and i started using it again and i don't know which one to go for i always like to do maybe it's this i like to have like conceal on the outside here tiny bit here because this one's really light so i feel like i only need a tiny bit because then i can like kind of set it to be like a bit more chiseled like up it makes it look like i've got like an eye lift i think and just a little bit of the uh then i normally always take a revolution concealer i normally do this before my actual concealer so it's annoying um yeah and just do literally like try a little dot and then blend it out and do it with a brush and then do it, do it tap it perfect and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this. Oh, this is Revolution as well. Wow, sponsored. Oh, so much. Blush. Literally, like, need the teeniest bit. And then just dab that in. I was watching someone's video the other day, and he was talking about, like, how did we go so long, like, not wearing blush? Like, for years, it was, like, a thing, not wearing blush, just, like, bronzer or whatever. And now, just... It looks so like unalive. Nice. I always say it looks a bit like whew, when you first do it, but it all comes off, doesn't it? Like I'm not being funny. I never come home with a full face of makeup on still. So. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the powder. Like following where I put that concealer earlier, pretty much. Right. Um, I've actually started using highlighter again, which I haven't used in forever. I took one on holiday with me and now I've been using it since I came back. Just a load of friggin' bronzer. Literally, I swear by the Benefit one. And I know those people say it's like too orange, whatever, but I love it. I think it's the only thing, like makeup thing, that I'm like, it's worth the money. Because it is like expensive, I personally think. I use the dull beauty one of their blushes um i just think when you don't put like bronze on that and i'm like your face just does not look alive but looks like this and i personally love it it's just like the right color i can't do like the full face thing like it doesn't ever look like i've got like the makeup on that like how i'd want it to look you know and then i kind of just brush through my brows oh just had a few little lines then don't really do anything to them because I don't I really like actually do it like wax or pluck them or anything so yeah they look good I think I'm done with my makeup I think I'll add a little bit of lip liner and gloss before I go oh my hair's getting greasy that'll do and then I'll scrunch away can't see how that looks but sure it looks all right so yeah this is what my makeup's turned up like turned out like looks good i think personally but now i'm gonna go get dressed and yeah i'm so excited hey guys it is now the next day the weather is shining and we are just in town about to go get some breakfast do a little bit of shopping daniel's over there but yeah plan is to do this and then we're gonna head to water cane Got the skate the skate with us and go for a spin, I think. Don't know ice cream, I wouldn't live my life, but I got work at three, so yeah. So hey! Hi. <laughs> oh, there's behind you. This is our lunch. What have you got? Breakfast. Breakfast, lunch. <laughs> Not going to tell us. Huh? <laughs> what have you got? Beans. 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 And rice. Mm. Right, bro. And I've got a sandwich with chicken and bacon and not a lot of cheese, but <laughs> yummy, delicious. Hey guys, we're on Wollacoom now and look how good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> What's up? Grab 
was dodgy. <laughs> Imagine. Whoa. Um, I haven't skateboarded in a hot minute, so could be about to fall off any minute. <laughs> but if anyone else skateboards, a little, you'd also remember the horrible thing of if a stone went underneath. No? Whoa. But this is like the perfect road. Don't go about me. Look at it. It's perfect. Whoa. times. <laughs> that isn't very good. Huh? That's not very good really went down three times. But yes. It was safe. Um and now I'm going to go back, get straight, live work. Wah, wah, wah. Hey everyone. So today it's been a couple of days, I won't lie, it's been a couple of days. I can't actually remember when I last went but I've been at work. But today is my day off and we are going to the garden centre today to go looking for some plants. There's some stuff. I don't know what. Um, I'm going to try to anyway. So yeah, we're going to go have a look, see what we can find. Ah, oh, my converse is all unlaced. Um, see what we can find. I'm going to pick up M in a sec. And yeah. This is a bit, whoa. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get Emma now. Bye! <laughs> Woo. We're at the gardening centre now for lunch. We've been two little grannies yes, today. I just going to say that. <laughs> been out, been doing our shopping. We only got some plants and that. And then we went rabbit shopping. <laughs> and now we're out for a jack of potato. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, Make sure you like that. Classic cheese jacket. Cheese She's gone for the beans. Cheese and beans. <laughs> Delicious. I don't know how I recall, they've never put the cheese in the pot. It's peculiar. I like it though. <laughs> Is it buttery? Yeah. I don't like it when it's like dry. I always put a load on the butt. The sky is so white right now. Oh, massive one. I love them. That black one kind of looks a bit young. Mm. I thought that because I thought a minute ago it wasn't massive. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. Can't be a big one. <laughs> Be home soon. And then dad comes in and I went down because I could see he left the porch outside light on. He wouldn't have known it. I went down he was making himself a bacon sandwich. <laughs> I was like, you drunk? And then he said to me this morning, he started talking to me and I think you forgot he saw me. Really? He said to me, he was like, oh, I think I got home about half ten. Yeah, you guys were in bed. I was like, I guess he <laughs> spoke to you. Of course, it's really yummy. Just done the job. Delicious. <laughs> Okay, this is the garden centre, guys. I, don't, I can't believe you've never eaten it. I've eaten it so many times. I might have one's little. You just can't really beat a garden centre lunch. I just love that. It's a bit like Banbury's lunch. Yeah, I used to go there. Same vibe. Mm. Neither. It's the same vibe. Tick this top back. Yeah, and I'm like. You don't need to know. Like, your mum doesn't need to know. <laughs> yeah, but it's the fact that, like, They've asked their mum to film that video. Because like, their mum's yeah. like lip syncing the words. Mm. He is quite young. I've got a little friend. Oh, hello. <laughs> you didn't see him sat there. No, I thought you went, oh. Because the, the, the dog is actually a puppy, I think. We've got a friend. Oh my goodness. Dan would be right. The shots. Pretty successful shot if I do say so myself. Um, we don't know if we've got the right stuff, we were pretty much guessing. So I'm just gonna have to wing it. They should all be out for summer. But these are not the little ones. And I've got a few other plant pots around the garden if I need them. Nope. Yeah, let's get cracking I think. Baba doo ba doo bee boo ba doo boo. I'm just planting some peas here, I think, and then maybe some sunflowers, but you know, enjoy. Ba ba da ba ba do boo do do ba do boo 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 ba da 
da ba 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 da boo bee ba do boo boo. I'm just gonna use some nail polish to mark all of these on the sides, so I know they're all the same. So those two in there are just like flower ones. This is an old pot, but it hasn't really drainage in, so I don't think it's gonna be very good. Over here are all my sugar snaps, which I'm hoping will work. And I've just got strawberry thing, I'm just waiting. I'll put that into a bigger pot once I've got one. And that's just a thing of just all flour. Here is my sunflowers, which look adorable. It's very dry right now, it's not though. It's moist. And then in here are my poppies. It's said to start them off inside in a warm window, which is this, because the sun's on it all day. Thank you all next week. Love you. Bye.